Hey everybody, it's been a while since we've talked. I'm out in uh, in between Central Texas and North Texas, kind of right at the barrier of the two in Waco, and uh, taking care of some property, seeing some good stuff, seeing some stuff I wish looked better, but uh, overall, pretty pleased with uh, the work that's been getting done. And it just watching their crew get things ready for the summer made me think, man, what is it uh, that we need to be doing right now you know, we've got a bunch of improvements coming, some changes uh, to make things easier uh, for the summer, about to roll out here in May. Um, but I just want to, I was thinking to myself, like, what? Like, that's great, but what can we do? What can I communicate right now that's going to make a difference? And uh, I had a thought, and that is CYA. CYA, CYA, CYA. If we haven't talked about it since summer school. Some of y'all are new and weren't at summer school. Some of y'all were on vacation or couldn't make uh, the session that I was uh, instructing. You might have been one of the other sessions. Cyanuric acid, one, one pound per 10,000 gallons of pool volume if they're below 30 parts per million. So if you go there, you test the water chemistry and their CYA is below 30 parts per million, add one pound per 10,000 gallons. Tell them to retest it in a week and add another pound per 10,000 gallons if they're still below 30 and to continue to do that all summer. If we do that, we start that now, uh, we get ahead of the curve, summer's going to be easier. That peak in tech calls that we get as soon as the water warms up won't be quite as bad. It's coming for Houston here in the next two to three weeks. It's going to be hitting Dallas in about a month uh, to five weeks. So let's get that CYA in the water. Every pool you're at service and repair, installations, water management. If you're out at a property, check the water chemistry. CYA below 30 parts per million, add one pound per 10,000 gallons. Thanks.